Okay, so this video is going to be different. A lot of you people ask about my favorite apps. How do I work? How does TechWiser work? This is a day in my life with the Oppo Reno7. So Oppo partnered with us for this video, but it mostly revolves around TechWiser. Good morning, everyone. So we are out to play badminton. A lovely day it is. Now, since we have so much place to play badminton, Since I stay alone, I like to cook my own breakfast and some pro cooking tip. Whenever you cut onion, turn the flame on. Asu ka maenge. And just like your dear influencer, I'll also take some food photos. And I don't know about other cameras, but it really makes food photo look good. Like it made my 5 out of 10 food look like 7 out of 10. Wow. And by the way, I'm recording through the front camera of the Oppo Reno7 and you can have an idea of the video as well as the audio mic quality. Okay, I've reached the office and whenever we receive a new phone over here, I just give it to people and take their first raw impression so I can talk more about the build and everything in the video later. For one, it does feel one-handed. Is it plastic or glass? Sir, scratch test, bent test, Shodo, we need to have Manu test. It is plastic. Plastic? <laughs> How do you determine that the back is glass or plastic? You just have to use your intuition and experience. I guess. Uh, I just have a very good point regarding the Oppo Reno7. I don't remember what I was doing. I have a point. Texture lightweight, hai, one handed. Hai. Three cameras. I think main 64 is uh, One is 2 megapixel. I think 8 megapixel. Oh, this is a camera? Ha, this is a 2 megapixel macro camera. That is interesting. I think the overall the design is pretty simple and one handed use. So there is that. Would you buy this color? I can see a lot of people who like this color. Name them. Including <laughs> Manu. <laughs> they have starry black. So they do give an SD card slot extra, but surprisingly, the base variant starts at 256 GB. Oh which is. God. Woo. Oh my God. So it has Corning Gorilla Glass 5 on the front. Oh, that's nice. For camera? The front camera is 32 megapixel. Oh my God. You don't need to be so excited. So now I like to have lunch early by 12, 12.30 and I usually watch videos on the phone while having lunch and if the speaker is good, loud enough, I don't use earphones or TWS. Now, hear the audio quality. So a lot of you were asking about the Oppo Reno7 Pro. Also, we did a poll in which you wanted us to review the Oppo Reno7 Pro. I mean, it's loud for a single speaker and this small room, but it's not a stereo speaker. So yes, I'm eating in a small room, so I'll listen on the speaker. But if I'm eating in the hall or a larger room, I'll probably switch to TWS or earphones. Now display quality here, have a look. The colors are punchy. I actually like the colors, viewing angle, but I can watch HDR videos on YouTube. There's Widevine L1 and you get 1080p playback on Amazon Prime Video. So that's there. Okay, one really interesting thing or something which I really appreciate in budget phones is the 3.5 mm jack now of course audio quality is good but that's not the reason another thing is when you have to vlog or make videos you can easily connect an external mic here you have dimensity 900 so graphic settings you get extreme or 60 fps on smooth graphics and ultra 40 fps in hdr but most of you people want to see 60 fps performance so let's play in 60 fps and this is the new 8x8 arena and i love the map on this Oh, oh, here are the two. Oh, look, they, they can't see me. Haha. <laughs> only I am unstoppable. Rest everyone is stoppable. And the good thing with this new Dimensity 900 and 1000 processors is they don't even get that warm. And as you can see, we are getting constant 50, 59, 60 FPS. And the phone is not even warm. And the game mode here shows you real time FPS and even CPU, GPU percentage. So if you're someone like me who makes videos on phone gaming and all of that, this is helpful. You can of course install a third party app, but a lot of them are paid or doesn't work. Now this is a 90 hertz display and 90 hertz for me is the sweet spot between performance and battery life. So as you see, it's been evening and the battery life is like 51% right now. And the Reno7 has 4500 milliamp hour battery with 65 watt fast charging. But I'm someone who can compromise on fast charging or charging speed, but I need better optimization and battery life. So I can use the phone through one day and charge overnight when I sleep. But most people want faster charging speed. So yes, the Reno7 has 65 watt charge and it can go zero to 100 in just 
31 minutes, but in real life you can expect 35 to 40 minutes. Okay, I just discovered this. I was typing on my laptop and I got a call and this phone supports air gesture. Like see here, if I get a call, I just have to do this and it picks up the call. And I have to do this to just mute the call. And the fun thing is it also works in apps. So suppose I'm watching a YouTube video, I can just do this to scroll through the YouTube videos. And there's also a gesture where if I'm suppose reading an article on Google Chrome, it doesn't turn off the screen as long as I'm looking at the screen. So these are good little customizations and gestures. And we came out to shoot a bit and it is bright sunlight here. And a lot of people ask about display brightness under direct sunlight. So as you can see, the display is bright enough. Oppo says it has about 800 nits of peak brightness and it's good enough for outdoor direct sunlight. And since I have Wi-Fi most of the time in my house, I don't use mobile data. I'm one of the few persons just got mobile data in my double hour. But outside, good internet speed is really important. Sometimes you have to send documents on WhatsApp or even email. And as you can see, you get good 4G plus CA carrier aggregation. And as you can see, it's good internet speeds as well, not just 4G plus carrier aggregation. So it's all 5G in 2022 and as per our Indian government budget, 5G should arrive in India by 2023 in metro cities. So now it's important to check for 5G bands in newly released phones. So the Oppo Reno7 has 13 bands of 5G which is way way more than what you need. Okay, here's a funny thing and small personal hack since me and Vanu vlog on my personal channel, I use a simple smartphone camera to shoot all of that stuff. And since people have a very short attention span, I mostly switch between the wide angle lens and the main lens while we shoot the video. This basically creates an illusion that you are watching something new, but forget that. Here, the Oppo Reno7 doesn't let you switch between the main and the wide angle camera while the video is on, but you get a smooth little video slider which you can zoom in slowly and zoom out which I use when I feel someone is talking something interesting. I would love if Oppo gives you the option to switch between wide angle camera and the main camera while the video is on and in 4K, I would personally switch to the Oppo phones. Okay, one more thing, this dual video mode, unpopular opinion, I personally love it. So recently you would have seen in our video that we keep my face over the montages whenever we talk about it because I want you to see my emotions and expressions when I talk about that particular thing and that's how you feel about it. So now when I'm talking about this box and I open it and see this thing has a really nice texture like here to it. See? So now you see the box and me in one frame while I'm talking about the box. So this can be done in post editing but if you do it while shooting the video that saves time which is really good for short form content like I personally would be doing this dual video mode quite a lot and I also recommend it. So Oppo Reno also has this one amazing feature called PC Connect so you just have to connect your phone and Windows PC for once and now I wanted to transfer all the video footages and photos that I have shot on the Oppo Reno7 so all I have to do is select the images and videos over here and here I just have to open PC Connect you see, everything is selected. I just have to drag and drop and put it on my desktop and the files are transferred seamlessly and wirelessly. I don't have to use a USB. Also, you can always transfer your file from your Windows PC by just right clicking PC Connect and to your Oppo Reno7. I really like this seamless connectivity or ecosystem between the Reno phone and Windows PC. So now I was about to sleep, I remembered one small thing. Now I'm someone who charges his phone overnight and gets it up in the morning. So I've seen this with Oppo phones and other color OS phones that when you charge your phone overnight, you will have a message called optimized night charging and your phone will charge slowly and charge fully by 6 a.m. in the morning. That's really good for your battery age as well as really cool. And now this is a demo footage. This is not from this phone because the phone adapts to your charging pattern and then enables it over time. But this is one thing which I find really nice about Oppo phones. So this was the video. I hope you like this vlog style format and daily life experience. Let me know what you think about such videos. On that note, this is Pradeek signing off. See you pretty soon. Pew pew.